I'm so happy. I am so happy about my life right now. I just want to shout it from the rooftops. I just want to tell everybody about what I'm doing, what I'm achieving. I just want to tell everybody about my new life. Don't you dare. Feminine ladies, you have to become accustomed to winning in private in order to protect yourself from jealous, envious women. Watch how you move. But first, like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. As feminine ladies, as more confident, leveled up, more focused women, as you become more mature, as you elevate spiritually, mentally, physically, you're feeling good about yourself, no doubt you're going to start moving in different ways. The way you used to be, you're no longer going to be. You're going to start speaking, thinking, and acting differently. But you see the thing about that? The people around you may not change. And there have been so many cases where women accomplish great things. They're opening up beauty salons. They're opening up nail salons. They're becoming coaches. They're opening their own businesses. They're going back to school. They're doing all these things. They're accomplishing things financially. Women are succeeding in so many areas of life. And as much as we hear about women's empowerment, um, I'm not, what I'm doing, I consider women's empowerment, but more in the femininity realm. But you hear a lot about women's empowerment, but what you don't see is that among those, those very women, there are women who do not like seeing other women do better. They don't like seeing other women speak confidently and talk about their lives and how well they're doing. And because of that, as a wise feminine woman, you have to be mindful of how much you're sharing with other people. I know, especially when you are a feminine woman who, you know, you're just very kind, you just love your life, you're so sweet-hearted, you're so warm-hearted, and you just really, you get happy and you just want to tell people. I used to be that way. I used to be the woman that anytime, you know, I succeeded in something or my kids accomplished something or me and my husband were great, I would want to shout it from the rooftops and just tell people about what's happening and what I accomplished. But what I noticed is that when I would tell certain people about the things that were happening in my life, they gave me that, oh, that's nice, or oh, okay, yeah, that's good. But anyway, their energy really wasn't what I expected it to be. And I think sometimes as women, we expect that people are going to care about our successes and hype us up and clap for us more than actually what than what they actually do we expect more from people than what they are willing to give and a lot of times it's not because people are sometimes people are jealous but sometimes people are not successful or happy with where they are in life and because of that they can't celebrate you and even if they're not happy with where they are in life if they're your friend if they're your family if they truly care about you they should have the ability to celebrate you. But because they don't, we have to watch how we move around certain people. I was telling my daughter the other day because she wants to be a graphic designer and she wants to start her own business. And she has all of these wonderful things she wants to do. Um, she ultimately tells me, you know, mom, I want to be married, but I don't have kids and I want to be rich. You know, she's telling me all this stuff. And I told her, you know, you shouldn't aim to be rich. Nothing wrong with being well wealthy. But number one, whatever you like to do, you know, you put things in place that are going to help you accomplish that goal. But number two, I told her, I said, don't brag about what you do to other people. Don't tell other people about what you're doing. Not even people you consider your closest friend, especially if that friend is a woman. And it's unfortunate that we have to think that way as women, but I can tell you that sometimes as women, other women are our biggest haters, our biggest enemy. Um, many women have that snarky, catty, you know, they just have to be smart in some way. They really don't know how to be happy for another woman. And I think for some cultures, certain cultures, we've kind of been programmed 
to put down our own. We've been programmed to not want the best. It's like they want to see you eat, just not as good as them. And when you have that kind of warped mentality, that's not really the kind of person you want to be around. You don't want to be around people who rather see you broken and they can be there for you when you're crying, when you're down, when you're depressed. Everybody needs that, but you also need somebody that you can celebrate with too. And unfortunately, there's been so many cases where women think they have friends around them when actually they have vultures. I have not spoken, I've spoken about this topic many times because I believe that as women, this is truly something we have to be on the lookout for, especially when you are a woman trying to do great things for her life. You really have to be mindful of the type of women that you have around you. We see examples in history of women, their downfall came from trusting the wrong woman, from confiding in the wrong woman. The first person that comes to mind for me is Selena. Um, her road manager, I believe it was just her manager, she thought that she was her biggest supporter. She was there with her on over every road trip. She was there to support her, encourage her. I've heard that she, you know, she would always give her, you know, they have decent conversations. She's the very woman that took her down. And that's so sad because you don't want to be the type of woman that feels like you have to keep your guard up constantly. You don't want to be the type of woman that feels like I can't trust no women. I don't like women. You don't want to be that way. However, you have to have a balance to know when you have somebody around you who really doesn't mean you any good. So I say all this to say that when you begin to level up in your life, when you start succeeding in the areas in which you aim to succeed, as much as you would like to tell the women in your circle what you're doing, don't. Especially when that thing is brand new. For me, I don't tell anybody anything about what I'm doing until after it's done. And then even then, the work speaks for itself. People don't have to know the process of what you're doing or what you plan to do. Just let your work speak for itself. People will see that you're moving different, that you're acting different, that you might be living different. You don't necessarily have to tell them every little thing that you're doing. But we live in this day and age where people need to flex on everybody. I got to show them I got the best car. I got the best house. I got, you know, we're going on these trips. We're doing this and that. You can do all those things. Just don't tell nobody about it. You don't have to tell anybody. People will see you and it's something about being a woman that is mysterious, who has quiet successes, who just lives her life freely, not worrying about who sees what she's doing. When you're a more confident, feminine, leveled up woman, you're not doing everything for show. You're not living your life for show. If people see it, which undoubtedly they will, because if you're living a life that you love, that's going to show because your light's going to be shining out in the world. But you don't have to let people know, oh, you know, uh, my husband just got a new job. Oh, you know, we just moved to this neighborhood. Oh, you know, I just started this business. Just let people see, let the work speak for itself. So as women, you know, don't feel like, you know, you have to have diarrhea of the mouth as soon as you accomplish something because it is not safe for you to do so in this climate of jealousy, envy, hatred, and foolishness that we're absolutely seeing. And you would think that some people, you know, if you grew up with them from childhood, you know, or your best cousin, y'all grew up together, you're more like sisters, you would think that those type of people, and of course, this goes without saying, it's not everybody, but you would think that you could confide in them. Sometimes you can, but I can tell you, sometimes it's not what people say. You have to read people's body language. If they feel uncomfortable in your environment, if they feel uncomfortable being around someone, being around you, you're living a more quiet, peaceful life. You know, you're doing regular things like having dinner with your family all together. You're shopping with your husband. You know, some people can't handle that because they have purity chaos in their lives. And what a lot of people don't understand that you're not doing anything wrong by living your life. 
But sometimes you have people, and I'm just being open and honest with you, you got people who are so wicked, so toxic, they're not accustomed to peace, that when you say, oh, I'm not going to go out with you all, me and my husband, we're doing this. They'll actually try to convince you that there's something wrong with you spending so much time with your husband. I'm not saying that it's not okay for you to have girl time and to spend time with friends and family. But if you enjoy being with your man, don't let somebody make you feel like, oh, you're too clingy. Why this? Why that? When women speak that way, and that's another sign that a woman is displaying jealousy and envy against you. When she doesn't want you to spend that much time with your husband or with your uh, fiance, she is doing that because she's alone. And a lot of times when women are alone, not for all, I have to say that on this internet that loves to be confused, but when a woman is alone, when she doesn't really have anyone, when she sees a woman in a happy, successful relationship or relatively successful relationship, she will look at that woman as if she's doing something wrong. And women like that like to pick you apart. You could be very nice, you could be very kind. Have you ever been speaking very nicely to a woman and they try to make you feel like you're corny or you're, you know, you're acting whatever. Like there's something wrong with you because you're being kind. And women who are more jealous, they tend to be more rough, more masculine. And not just masculine, but they have that bully, savage energy. Where it's like that mean bully energy. Where it's like smiling is like, uh, you know, like you're being fake. They think everything is fake. You can tell when you're dealing with a jealous, envious, insecure woman because she thinks everything is fake. Somebody smiling is fake. Somebody having a conversation and just being kind to another human being is fake. Somebody, you know, you, you like to go to the store and you like to sip tea and you like to look through TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Bath and Body and, you know, all these different stores and look for home decor. She'll say you're bougie, you, you're doing too much, you're being extra opposed to just sitting on the phone gossiping about other people's lives women who are insecure tend to do a lot of gossiping because they don't have anything else going on for themselves so they got to sit on the phone and talk about what everybody else is doing opposed to focusing on their own level up journey i'm telling you all this to help you to stay encouraged when you decide you know what i don't want to be a basic woman because on this channel, we are not basic women. We are women that have a relationship with ourselves. We know God. We have our femininity and we're living in that. We have an elevated sense of purpose. Not that we think we're better than other people, but we understand that the sky truly is the limit. You can do whatever you want to do. You can succeed at whatever you want to succeed at. Like we're not stuck. And when you have that elevated type of mindset to women who are more insecure, to women who are more like ratchet, more ghetto, they like to just have the street mentality, but learning anything that's of substance, that's going to actually help them with their self-development, they frown upon those kind of things. And you as a leveled up feminine, confident woman, you have to not let that distract you from doing what you're doing as a woman. Because if you allow someone to talk you out of doing better for yourself, and I know that a lot of women, because of your surroundings, you're more susceptible to that. If you live in more of an environment where people aren't really doing much with their lives, once again, just sitting on the phone gossiping, they're doing the bare minimum, you know, maybe the state is taking care of them, not because they need it, but because they're choosing to do less than what they could be doing. If you're dealing with those type of people, you are going to be a target for women who see you as a threat. You're going to be a target for women who have decided that there's a cap on what they can accomplish. But if you speak and act like, hey, you know, this job, yes, I'm grateful for this job, but I have options. Now, women who speak like, oh, I got to make sure I do this because, you know, like they, they treat the job, they idolize the people that are doing things for them. They're like, you know, I have to make sure this, like they're all about fulfilling somebody else's purpose and not their own. And when you're a woman who understands that you have a plan and purpose for your own life, 
and you're not just focused on being and doing what everybody else wants you to do. Um, in other words, you are actually showing self-love and self-worth and self-care to yourself. For a woman who is accustomed to moving in a more masculine way of being, she's accustomed to people telling her who she is opposed to letting God show her who she is. That type of woman is not going to like you because you're a little bit too confident for her. You're not scared of anything. Like she'll, she'll give you that look like, who do you think you are? And you have to get used to that. Who do you think you are? Because ladies, people like to scare us into limitation. When people try to scare you into limiting yourself, they want you to be basic. They want you to be mediocre. They want you to allow somebody to have so much control over you that you don't accomplish nothing. And when you allow people to scare you out of doing better in life, that's exactly what you're doing. It comes back to your confidence level as a woman. It comes back to really understanding that you're never stuck. But a woman that has a stuck mindset, a stuck mentality, she's not going to like that you don't see people as a roadblock to what you can do. See, as confident feminine women, we don't use people to get to where we want to go, as in we don't step over people and hurt people, but we will go around you. Like if you're not saying what I need to hear and I know this is going to help me, I will go around you. You're not going to be out the way. You're not going to be in the way. I'm going to move you out the way. As confident feminine women, we're never stuck. We don't worry about who likes, who doesn't like what we're doing. I'm not saying if we do anything harmful, but the point being, we don't give people that much control over us. And when a woman is less confident, when she's more insecure, when she's more in that big bully type of energy, she sees everything as a threat and she doesn't understand that she too can move forward in life. She too can decide to be with a different type of man. Some women who are more masculine and insecure in nature, do you ever notice they deal with men who have a whole lot of baggage? They deal with men who might have just got out of jail. They deal with men who might have just, you know, they always got a case. They always got drama with the baby mom. They always got child support issues. Well, women who are in their femininity, women who truly show themselves self-love and they have self-worth and they know their value, they're not dealing with a man who they always have to save, who they always have to rescue. See, they understand that that kind of behavior, that's not normal. That's not normal. That's a little bit ghetto. And that's my opinion. And little disclaimer, yes, we know nobody's perfect. We know that some people fall on hard times. I'm talking about she deals with the type of man who his second home, if not his first home, is jail. And she treats that as normal because it makes her feel more valuable, makes her feel validated from the fact that she's so-called holding a man down while he's locked behind bars. But see, feminine women understand that taking on that kind of problem, taking on that kind of situation, that's not something that she can see helping her to elevate in her life. She doesn't look to take on baggage. She has a standard for the type of man she wants in her life. She understands that she can deal with a man and be with a man who is not always out in the street. She doesn't glorify street, street culture. And that's another thing about the more insecure masculine type of woman. She tends to place her value on things that are more street and more, you know, just the cultural pop culture kind of way of thinking. And she's not really that concerned with growing spiritually, mentally, uh, education wise. She's all about street stuff, if that makes sense. It's like just a bunch of foolishness to me. But when you are the type of woman, you might not know the latest slang, you know, you might not know the latest street terms, you might not know about the newest reality TV, but you know how to start a business. You know how to make your house a home. You know how to make your family comfortable. You know how to do things that don't require you 
constantly having to get validation from other people when you when you move that way because i'm showing you the difference between the elevated mindset and the low level type of thinking and while everybody i'm not saying this to put down another woman per se i'm saying this to protect women who have decided to level up in their life you have to understand this so that you're not taken aback when women who you've necessarily done nothing to let's say you didn't do anything because a lot of times when women are attacked by other women it's not because of anything she did you might not have had an argument you might not have had a dispute you might be just living your life being the way that you are and because you are so carefree because you are so laid back and not easily bothered by things some women will not like you for that and i'm letting you know the type of woman who usually operates that way it's the woman that has the chaos and the constant drama the woman that doesn't have a standard for her life and when you recognize that you can stop being surprised by it and you can also make moves to get away from people who are like that and when you begin to level up and you begin to really recognize that dysfunction is not normal and that you should not accept dysfunctional toxic behavior as normal when you start getting closer to god when you start talking to people that can actually help you like coaches counselors you know maybe if you go to therapy i'm not against therapy if you do those kind of things women who are not willing to do the work they're going to try to make your life as problematic as possible if you let them so that's why you have to be mindful of when you're dealing with a jealous spirit and to get away from it and i know sometimes these jealous spirits that you may be dealing with it could be your family members it could be a mother for goodness sake and that's so sad but even in that you're going to have to learn how to keep distance between you all maybe you're going to have to move to a different part of town move to a different state you can love someone truly from a distance without putting yourself in harm's way see as feminine women we have to understand that we love and value ourselves so much so that we no longer tolerate toxic jealous envious behavior from women and man alike just because we want to say we have people around us we understand that our tribe will find us and that we don't have to be so hard for friendship or relationship that we accept traumatizing ourselves with the people we are choosing to be around so as feminine women recognize that a woman with a very jealous envious spirit it's something deep within her it has nothing to do with you more times than not it's just that light in you it's that way about you she wishes she could be that way and you might be thinking that you're not anything special you know you might be thinking you know i'm just a regular woman doing what i need to do doing what i want to do i'm just living my life and to women who are envious and jealous when they see you being a little too happy they will try to make problems for you and then you got to watch for the frenemy they secretly try to befriend you and you can tell when they're trying to bait you with little things because they'll ask you questions that don't even make sense so what do you think about you know this kind of guy or this kind of woman like what would you say about women like that when they ask you those kind of questions they're trying to look for a reason to be offended they're trying to bait you as women you really have to be mindful of that and i'm not putting this out there to say that you walk around in paranoia that you walk around walk around in distrust of other women but in the culture we live in today of women who are leveling up and losing their lives all because they are being and surrounding themselves and confiding in the wrong type of woman so if you want to be around women who are going to celebrate you and encourage you to be great you need to be subscribed to this channel because over here we want to see women do well we want to see women living their best feminine lively girly selves you can be authentic and you should want to surround yourselves with women who are authentic to who they are and let you be authentic to who you are without constantly trying to put you down and in today's culture in society if you're not more of a masculine rough type of woman you will be looked at as if there's something wrong with you especially if you're under the age i would say of 30. 
So for women in their 20s, that's like the proving ground. You know, when you're in your 20s, you're trying to prove that you, you know, you can hold your own, that you could take care of yourself. And then you have to prove you're that alpha female amongst females when you're in your 20s. It's something about being in your mid to later 30s. For me, I'm in my later 30s. When you get to that point, people kind to kind of understand that I don't care about what you think about me. <laughs> and that's literally, I thank God for age. I thank God for aging and time. Because as you get older and as you get wiser, you're not really going to care what people think about you. You're just going to live your life. You're going to be how you are. And I know that sometimes when I speak and when I say different things, I get little snickers from women or I get little, you know, I know people talk on little sidelines or, you know, they're saying little things. I don't care. It doesn't change how I move and how I operate. I don't try to change up how I am in order to blend in with everybody else. And especially if you're a black woman, a lot of times they expect you to be like the show. Like you're supposed to be FYE for everybody's entertainment. You're supposed to be like, you know, the loudest one, you know, that obnoxious, loud behavior, that buffoonery they're used to. But when you are a more feminine, laid back type of woman and then you're black, they just might not know how to receive you. Black, white, all other cultures, they might not know how to receive you. And that's okay. Always be authentic to who you are. I find that the more authentic you are, the more people will gravitate to you, the right people. You'll no longer deal with the people who are jealous constantly in your circle. You'll be around the people who are also the ones who are being snickered about, and you know, because those type of people tend to be the ones who are doing things with their lives because they don't care about what other people think of them. So as feminine women, Celebrate your successes quietly. Um, lead that feminine, quiet life. Do well and let the work speak for itself. You have to be aware of jealous, envious spirits, especially from women. And you can get that from men too, but especially from women. And because of that, you want to not tell anybody about what you're doing until it's done. And then even at that point, let the work speak for itself. And then aspire to be more of a woman of mystery, a woman that doesn't feel like she needs to constantly tell everybody her every move. Because in doing that, you will see that you accomplish more with less drama and less problems in the long run. And then lastly, aspire to be of authentic, as authentic as possible. Don't feel like you need to dumb yourself down. You have to change up your personality and who you generally are in order to make other people feel satisfied and comfortable with you. I know, and quick disclaimer, in the black culture, you know, your black card will be revoked for anything. You know, if you don't know how to play spades, revoked. If you don't know how to make potato salad, revoked. All that foolishness. We just can't worry about that. When you are living authentic to who you are as a woman and you are living in that feminine elegance, that feminine essence, that feminine grace, be who you are and don't allow any big bully energy to talk you out of being that fabulous feminine woman that you aspire to be. Like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. If you watch this video until the very end, put the high hill emoji in the comment section. I absolutely love to see it. Take care.